This is the studio we used to have, and this is the studio we have now. What happens from week to week in the clay studio? So from week to week, we have all sorts of different kinds of classes. We have kids wheel throwing classes, kids hand building classes, adult clay classes, and then we also have open clay studio. So anytime we aren't having classes, adults who have experience working with ceramics can come in and use our studio and utilize this valuable resource for the community. What does it sound like in the media lab? Lots of computer noises, like keyboards and mouse clicking, and usually kids laughing if someone did something funny in Photoshop. Is there anything that you like specially about the dance studio? Um, all of our mirrors move, so we can actually like separate the room in half and have people learning choreo on both sides. What's your favorite thing about the instructor? They're very well-rounded in what they teach, and they know like exactly what to teach. What's your favorite memory of the text hour? Well, uh, this room just got opened up. We're going to be doing lots of dye workshops. We hope to do some fashion and sewing classes. So lots of different things. What sounds happen in here? Oh, a ton of laughter and, you know, teens having a great time. A lot of music, too. What's one of your favorite memories from the teen room? It was definitely during the Mad Hatter's Tea Party. Uh, we have it every year. We had a bunch of teens in here. We were singing and dancing and having a blast all in costume. What does it sound like in this classroom? Um, whenever I have this classroom full of 18, 6 to 12 year olds making art, it sounds like structured chaos. Lots of laughing and footsteps, everybody talking and engaging and learning from each other. So it's just constant noise, but it's a really beautiful thing. Where does all the art go once the kids are done with them? Well, we have a wonderful art gallery. We have about six shows a year. We do have our wonderful Pillsbury wall that we discovered when we tore down the fire damaged building here. Um, and we have pottery and other things for sale as well. This is what Reach used to be and this is what it is today. So thank you for joining us on this tour and feel free to come join us.